The comparison between Snapdragon and Exynos chipsets has been always there, especially in case of the Samsung's flagship because they implement both these chipsets on their flagship smartphone. For all these years, we have seen that when it comes to flagship chipset, the Snapdragon has always maintained a comfortable lead compared to the Exynos variant. And so far so, it actually resulted in a huge controversy in terms of the Galaxy S20 and Note 20 series performance. But now, according to the latest leaks, this is going to change with the Exynos 1000 chipset. Now today, a Reddit user has posted a Geekbench 5 benchmark score which compares the Exynos 1000 chipset with the upcoming Snapdragon 875 chipset. As per the benchmark, it seems the Exynos 1000 based Samsung Galaxy S21 has scored a single core score of 1302 and a multi core score of 4250. Whereas, the Snapdragon 875 based Samsung Galaxy S21 has only managed to score a single core score of 1159 and a multi core score of 4090. So from this benchmark, it seems like the Snapdragon 875 based Samsung Galaxy S21 is lagging behind the Exynos 1000 based S21, which is for the first time in the history of Exynos chipset. So, what exactly could be the reason this significant improvement in the performance of the Exynos 1000? For that, we have to look into the architecture. As per the latest leaks, both Exynos 1000 and Snapdragon 875 would use a 1 plus 3 plus 4 core configuration, which means both chipsets would have one prime core, three performance core, and four power vision cores making up the chipset. The latest report suggests that the prime core on the Exynos 1000 would be the ARM X1 core as a result of ARM CXC program in which they collaborated with partners like Samsung and Snapdragon to develop their own custom cores and it's claimed that the ARM X1 core is 23% faster than the Cortex A78 chipset while it's 30% higher in peak performance compared to the Cortex A77. So it seems to us that Samsung had made some great improvements in the custom ARM X1 core and thereby boosting the performance of the Exynos 1000 chipset compared to the Snapdragon 875. So now coming back to the architecture of the Exynos 1000 chipset, as we said earlier, the prime core would be the X1 core which would handle tasks that requires maximum performance whereas the 3 performance score would be the Cortex A78 which would be utilized on routine tasks and 4 Cortex A55 would be used as the power efficient core to maximize power efficiency on the Exynos 1000. So guys, as per the leaks, since both Exynos 1000 and Snapdragon 875 utilizes the same core architecture, it seems to us the custom ARM X1 core that the Samsung implemented on the Exynos 1000 may be the actual reason behind the performance difference when compared to the 875. So guys, uh, that's pretty much that we have in this video. If you like this video, stay tuned for more updates like this. Hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed.